All right, get your Life Clock One ready. It's coming out. Hello, and welcome to another unboxing video. I'm Paul Pape of Paul Pape Designs and Tinker Vice Studios, and this week we're joined by a special guest, Grant Sussman, who has brought me a beautiful little piece to unlock. For those of you who are fans of Escape from New York and uh, have an inner snake pluskin, we have the Life Clock One. Life Clock One? Life Clock One. Excellent. All right, so... Now, Grant couldn't help himself. He had to open this thing. I did. I and, did. And, and sport it about. But he was nice enough to repackage it so that I can unbox it. There were also two. So, okay. in fairness, this box is only half of another box. Excellent. But. All right. So, um, as you can see, like it's it's not the most glorious box. This is, I assume, the packaging box. Yes. Again, it was one it. of two. So, there right. was a bigger brown box. And so, we're going we're gonna to open this bad boy up. Now, I've seen online, because it shows the uh, what's in the box uh, video on yes. the Black Clock yes. 1 video. And so, we can see. And it is accurate. Everything that it in is there. Beautiful. So we're right gonna... down to the original fonts. Oh, really? Yeah. If you look at the uh, top, that, uh, the, that is the original font is used in the intro of the, of the show. So I mean, you know, take that out. I'm gonna set that down there. Okay, we got our little close-up camera there, and then I'm gonna show it for the for the big camera here, just because it's a, a sizable object here. And if you rotate it, seriously, the, the the box art he has on there is just truly amazing. And if you notice in the bottom right, we have the there. Studio Canal official movie license. Yeah, it is actually a real. Uh, this is a, real prop. Lic a licensed prop, which is which is great, uh, especially coming from people like me who. Uh, Usually with things like this that have like a lower run, it's really right. hard for them to acquire. Okay, I want to qualify yes. that though. The Kickstarter people, because he had a Kickstarter at the beginning, right? Um, they got the numbers. Now, I don't know, as I understand it, um, and that would be a question for him on Facebook, I believe if this project goes well in terms of all of his Kickstarter sales go through and then he gets what he wants... Ultimately, there will be an unnumbered edition, and, oh, okay. it will, and it will go to public. So the, the thing is, I was lucky. I got in on the Kickstarter. Sure. So did my aunt, because we got two again. Right. Um, so we got numbers, and they are. And if when we unbox, you'll see there is a little hologram, mm -hmm. and it's on the watch. So you, those people, will get numbers. What he's going to do in the future, I can't say. Sure. But it sounds like he does want to continue it. Okay. So it's for those that are really interested, but we, but right now it's just fulfill doing order fulfillment. And I think that's really the smart way to, to go about it. I mean, if you're going to try and pursue getting a license for something, I mean, the biggest thing I've, like, I've tried Yeah, the license off the bat, which I thought was great. That, I mean, that is great. If well, you look at his Kickstarter, I mean, I apologize. No, no, that's all right. Um, but he documented every sure. step. And I mean, he has a commercial that mm -hmm. is truly amazing if you're a fan because he takes you right into all the key scenes that you It's lifeclock1.com if you haven't Yes, lifeclock1.com. But the, the thing is, what impressed me is, even during the inception, was the documentation for those people that are putting their $400 down. Sure. I mean, this is a lot of money. This is not something... Yeah, so you, you just know, touched on price you have an here. Apple Watch. I do, I, mean, I do. So do I, but I didn't bring it today since we're showcasing this. Right. But the thing is... An app, a standard Apple Watch is about between four and five hundred dollars. So you, we're in the same price point. Right. But the main thing you obviously will lose if you know the watch is, is the fact that you don't load apps. Now there is an app you load. Now we'll get but, into that in a second here, but, but let's yeah. let's let's first yeah. let's, no, let's open fine. this bad boy up. Yes, yes. Let's, let us see what is inside uh said life clock one. I hate to hit. Now okay, so I'm gonna just from a design point of view, this is weird. Okay. Um, most people who uh, who get a package when right. they do this. And you notice it's upside down. Yeah. So that's, to me, and I understand why he did that. I mean, it's the right. way that it's printed. Right. But as a designer, packaging designer, because every time I'm looking at the back here, I just want to flip it over, and then I notice right. it's upside down. So that, that's, a, that's a minor thing. I'll leave that, that to you and him. Exactly. <laughs> that, that to me is just a What's in the box is what, what Exactly. What my exactly. But at the same time, I mean, you, you, yes. you want the pretties. And you yes. want all the pretties to And stay. he did nicely pretty this. It is magnetic. So that case <laughs> is reusable. It is not, you know, it is not something that you can. And that is nice. I'm going I'm to show look it Look at here. that. Straight Here's from some, the poster. That is some really nice art. Now. And I own the half sheet, so I actually have okay. that image, which That's... is a ve which, which is what kind of struck me because I have it as a, as a wide, you know, a, a landscape type picture and it really Excellent. was nice. And that's from the golden age of movie posters when they actually go through the hassle of painting them rather than just photoshopping the yes. hell out of everybody. It always just well, adds a little exist. bit more. Yes. Oh, exactly. And you're right, it does have that nice little... Uh, yeah, I mean, so you could sample. actually keep everything nicely in the box, which I think is really also... Master Replicas did a lot of that, where you have your carrying case as opposed to your, as opposed to your display area sure. and things like that. So to me, a, a good package now here's the inside it is the hologram right. area so you can see so we've got a nice little breakdown of uh, snake plissken in his little bio up here which is really nice again that's from the movie um 
the graphics on this, I gotta say, are really top notch. Yeah, I really do. He didn't enjoy skimp, that. not on anything. Um, it the the feel of this is actually it's almost a siliconized paper is what this feels like, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna help with the dust collection. It's also gonna help to keep this from fading over time. It's not a vinyl, but it's also not a printed paper, so you can tell that it's got a really nice. It's gonna hold up over time, is what I'm saying. Um, so inside here, we can see we've got a serial number. Uh, Grant is lucky to have a double O one double O. Wow. All right. So uh, number 100 here. And then it also has um, the ability to get into your uh, your apps at the App Store as well as Google Play. And then it's got a brief instruction on how to use everything. Now, the Android app just literally came out. Okay. So, I mean, he's been predominantly on iPhone at this point. Sure. Because um, I was a part of the soft release. I uh, actually had this for a little while. And the big thing is, is like designing for Apple versus designing for Android right. is completely different. Whereas the Apple, you've got your five or six different devices you've got to design for. Whereas with, when you get into Android, it's hundreds. Yeah. And so to try and test out through all that, it's, it's hard. So I get that. And it's a smart way to go if you're going to go that route. Okay. So we have inside here, we have the nice little label. It does pop out. We'll set that aside so it does not get damaged. And then inside we, we can see a beautifully lined uh, box here. Really nice craft cut out foam here so that it fits really nice. Now I saw on the video of their unboxing that there was a little plate that covered this. Um, it was a plastic piece. Okay. That was all, all it was. It's like when you get your Apple Watch, like when you get your iPhone, there's a little little peel. The I, peel. I, I, I broke the seal. Sorry. The, the peel. Everybody loves the peel. Okay. So inside we have here, and I see you went with the Velcro, which is accurate. I did. I, I stuck with the studio accurate watch. What okay. would Snake Plissken be handed on that moment? Sure. And so to me, it's the Velcro. Now, there is a buckle option. There is a buckle option. When, when I looked at them, I, I knew that the movie accurate one is the Velcro. I, I kind of wept openly too because it, to me it's like, okay, Velcro can wear out over time. You've right. got things going on. And but, it's Velcro. Yeah. Whereas to, to me, I'm like, yeah. But back that, in that time period, Velcro was the thing. It I was. Mean, it it, it was. ages me terribly, but it's like, it was the thing. It was futuristic. And so, so and so I, I definitely would have, if I was to purchase one of these, I would go buckle. I would go straight on buckle. Which, by the way, if you go the buckle, you don't have to worry about the sizing chart. There is a sizing chart right. online. He's got right. key questions like do you want it on your left wrist or your right wrist because it has to be configured sure so that is very important so you have to have the sizing chart now i would be the one who's backwards because i'm a lefty yeah and so that would that it's would the only sense. right way right um but the thing is um and also there is what is called the gulf fire edition what we are mm -hmm. looking at right now as paul has said is the snake edition yes this is the studio accurate version of the watch sorry it's what was snake wearing at the time there are six etchings, which what we are showcasing right now Let's is... See if we can zoom it in here. It's called the USPF version, which go. is, okay, if this came out of the locker room, or the prop locker room, of, mm -hmm. or the weapons locker of the USPF, that's what it would look like, which right, includes your... here to the Mevo as well. So which, includes your, which includes your serial number and everything yes. else. And if you notice, there's that little inset at the very bottom. Uh -huh. That is for your magnetic charging. Which we haven't which gotten to we yet. We haven't gotten to yet, but that's what that is. So we at least know what, what's coming up in, in the next phase. Now, I will say that um, it's just, it is actual leather. I mean, guys, we're, yeah. we're looking at uh, real, honest-to-goodness leather here. I see that they're actually screw rivets, which I like because typically um, they're pop rivets right. and they're locked, whereas these you can tighten over time or, if necessary, replace. Yeah. Which, if you're wearing this thing out uh, yeah. constantly, that's going to happen, especially if we're talking the Velcro enclosure here. Yeah. Uh, so if you do need to switch these out. Now, is that something that he offers is the ability? to replace these oh yeah you can buy separate pieces from okay. him and in fact if you decide you want to go to the buckle mm. you know but you obviously have to pay for it but, sure sure but the thing is is now the, the other thing is in terms of accessories you don't have a lot you need because he gives you two charging cables which i think is smart and, and we'll, we'll take a look yeah. at those now yeah. okay so we're going to set that that bad boy there we're going to turn it on in just a moment but we do we have a uh, two charging cables so this is the magnetic charging cable and you can see it's got the two magnetic prongs as well as the two that actually connect. Now, for the record, for those of you that are in, that are used to Apple contact magnetic <laughs> stuff, if you notice, Paul, it's not as strong no. of a hit. No. It can easily be knocked. That's the only thing, and I did speak to uh, Jonathan Zufi of Life Clock One about it, and he said Apple uses a much stronger magnet. Yeah. And I, I he had all the technical on it, but sure. the point is, if you go to charge your watch, make sure it's kind of separate and off to the side. That's the only thing is because you can have that charger get knocked. Now, I have the same problem with my Apple Watch anyways, is that even though it's a stronger connection, if it's off center a little bit, you know, I mean, right, it but feels I mean, like if snaps, you look but... at the way that sure. raises up, yeah, 
um, you can knock it. You can knock it a little easier. Sure. Is my point. It's not that it's a bad device. It's no. just that it it can be knocked. Now the one thing I want to point out is um, is if now this is something that with like Apple, it's they use induction charging. Right. Um, so it's a wires to wires, which right. is charging. Now this one here is an actual direct connect. We can see that because it's got the two little points that are on here. Now when we go to connect it here, we can see that it locks in really tightly there. One thing I always want to make sure is because I know you can reverse the charge, and if you do that, you can destroy the battery. It cannot and go so in the other way. I noticed that yeah. they actually reverse the battery, so you've got it so that there only goes in one way, which is a brilliant design. Because if you had it so that it goes in both directions, you could short the the piece. Short out. the watch out. So that's that's intelligent design right there. Yeah. Which I really do like. Now it is just a standard USB. Is it USB two? It is. It's USB two, which is pretty standard anymore. Yeah. And you can use. It does not come with a power piece. That's kind of what what I was going to qualify is that it doesn't come with a power piece. And I forget the voltage, but uh, I have been using a Sabrent twelve port mm -hmm. that auto regulates its okay. voltage, and I've had no problems. Now, does it is it marked on here at all? No. No, I, I I know online uh, all the instructions all the are there. Yeah, which okay. is the only thing that's the only downside in terms of an unboxing or a. I would like to have either a PDF or like a brochure, for instance, sure, this size that, that would have all there. that information in there. Now it does have some information on the charging cord here. Well, it says two watch and then two power, and but yeah, as far as like information that is useful, uh, spec wise. I mean, but honestly, a lot of people they don't look at the specs. No. And, no, and but the thing is, is accurate, you know, in terms of having you have all the information at your fingertips as opposed right. to having to go online. Now, is there going to be any issue with, uh, because I know that as this thing sits on your wrist, right. um, it, it's, it's big, it's bulky. <laughs> yes, that it is, and, and I've worn uh, it out on the town, yes. Now, does sweat coming into contact with these points, is that going to make a difference, do you think? Um, they have some statements online about that, that every once in a while kind of wipe it down. Okay. Um, I'm not wearing it every day, so sure. my feeling is I don't think you're going to have to worry too much about it. And honestly, getting a hold of the Life Clock One team has never been really hard. Okay. The only thing anyone needs to understand is when you get your Life Clock One, it is being handmade. This is not factory. This is not a no. All the pieces have been made factory, but when you request the watch, it is being physically assembled for you. Sure, it's assembled. Okay, yeah. so it's personal. Well, no, I'm talking right. about no, no, no. It, well, not for just you. the personal. No, yeah. I mean turnaround time from order to receipt. Right. That's my thing. It's the timing. So it's okay. I ordered this thing. Well, if they have 20, 30 orders, each one is being assembled, one person by hand. Which I think so once if it, that's kind of important for these ones that are serialized, that's important right. because you want that you want that human touch, right. and you want to be you want your piece to be touched by the creator, right. which I think is very important. But once we get into the, like the more mass produced ones, once he gets right. through these, if he does actually license it out full bore, right. it'll be just machined in. There. Right, right. But I like that because as a especially as a designer myself, um, I'm sure this thing needs a little bit of fidgeting to kind of get everything to lock together right. and to get it to be just as he wants it to be, right. which it takes that one guy who knows what right. this is to do that kind of thing. So I think that's important. And so, but you're saying there is a little bit of a wait time. Which that's, I, that's the more thing to me to the audience is your wait time. Sure. It's not going to be stratospheric, I don't think, but at least mine, I, I know mine wasn't, but of course I was part of a soft release. But the thing is, as the, this device becomes more and more popular and he's phasing from personal assembly to, like you said, production, production. line potentially, um, be patient. Sure. You you will have everything you want, and when you get it in your hand, if you're a fan, you're gonna love it. Hey, we will live it. Can't go wrong. Ketchup. Good thing right. to come to those who wait, right? Right. right. Okay. So um, now I'm... the only thing I did not say, and right. sadly we don't have one here today, is there is also what's called the Gull Fire Edition. Right. And I don't know. And we talked about that a little bit, and that's yeah. an all black version. It is an all black. Now it is in honorarium right. of Lee Van Cleef's character. Um, Police Commissioner Hulk, because he had a black band, a very large black leather band on him, but we never really saw the watch. Right. Well, what the Life Clock One team did is they went and got the an the brass piece, anodized nice. black, did a whole black up. Um, now, the one thing you will get with the Gulf Fire that you do not get with the snake is you will have a buckle. So you will get a Velcro and you'll get a buckle. So you have both. Right. Which, now that one is also more expensive. Yes, it is. It's about a hundred, a hundred to two hundred dollars more, depending right. upon. I forget. I think he was having some specials and things like that. I don't sure. know what's valid and what's not. God, but, and there's uh, plate options as well. So yes, the engraving six. they have on the back is three are free. Mm -hmm. Three are fifty dollars more. Right.
and it depends on what you want to get. And all that information you can find on liveclock1.com. Now, the other thing they have is just a standard... Uh, or that's you your second secondary. charger. That's it. So that's nice. So in yeah. case you bend the heck out of this one and yes. wreck it. And he does sell separate charging cables. So let's say you had to have it in a multiple device, in a multiple location situation, mm -hmm. he can accommodate you. You just have to give him the money. Now, I'm noticing that the one thing that this is lacking is... Oh, there it is. There's this... this so this was supposed to be on top. No. No, because no, in the it, in the in it, the unboxing video that he has, it was on top. Well, then maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I was inaccurate with my unboxing. Oh, well. I was so excited. Let's sure, let's go that sure. way. I was so excited to hold it. But I will tell you, I mean, obviously you can feel the weight in your hands. And that, and that is the thing. I was going to as a scale and as a fanboy, I, I have to admit, yeah. every time I put that thing on, I literally hear Lee Van Cleef saying 22 hours, 59 minutes, 57 seconds. Now that's where he and I take a fanboy issue because it was 57 seconds. Right. It was not 59. The timer, which there is a movie timer mode on here, right? it's 22, 59, 59. But I'll give him the two seconds. I'm, I'm a nice guy. Now, I notice that there aren't any injectable explosives in here. No, Which is no, unfortunate. No, But I figure you can design that at a later date. Point. Sure, sure. You know, okay, I also so, don't have the hair, so there <laughs> you know, uh, All right, so we're going to turn... So I see this is for the right-handed person, right? Yes. Okay, so there, ooh, we've turned it on. And you can set the brightness of those LEDs. Okay. So, I mean, that is... I mean, again, when we get to the app portion of this, you will see that, I mean, it is... In terms of user settings and things like that, you've got a lot. No world clock. Okay, yeah, so it will be cycling through here. Yeah, you can do it. world clocks with it. That's kind of part of the app process. So sure. there's your there's your movie. There's your and if you hit it, hit the I think it's the top button. It yeah, there, there you go. go. And right. it will do a countdown per the movie. Oh, it will. And so then to see that timer... You have to wait 22 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds. <laughs> but there is an end game. Uh, and no, I haven't waited. I've, 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 it's kind of sad. I, I would activate it and I've missed it, missed out. But I, I know what it is, but I'm going to let the audience... Okay, so the, but there is there is something that happens. Yes, with there is. Zero. Yes, there is. Okay, um, I don't see explosives, Grant. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty much good for your basement. So we right, right. Keep right. everything intact. So. That, that's right. Okay, so that I mean, I gotta say, this thing's got some weight to it. It does. So, it, but you, it feels like a good. That's the other thing. I mean, in terms of, I mean, I own the Master Replica series of Star Wars sabers and, sure. and such. When I picked up the Count Dooku saber, for instance, mm -hmm. you feel the weight. Yeah. You feel the construction. This feels like something that, yes, a Jedi would wield. Well, when you put that watch on, tell me you don't have a feeling of that grit, that dirt, that oh, yeah. military. I mean, it's I definitely mean, got. It does not feel cheesy in any no. way, shape, or form when you put that on. It's got a de It's got a really nice weight to it. I would. Uh, I would beat the hell out of this thing if I was running around. Now, New York. for the record, it is water resistant, not waterproof. Sure. It's so it's like an the, Apple product. So, so yes. It, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, right down to the buttons, by the way, which are Apple volume control buttons. Oh, that's what it's like. If, if you get if you get curious, they are they are colored or brass. Apple buttons. Nothing wrong with his, that. His homage to the fruit company. I, I do like uh, I do like the the slimness of those buttons. You yeah. have to get used to them though, because it's not a quick touch. Right. So I mean, if you notice, you you're really having to make click. a very deliberate yeah. touch on it, which I think is actually good, because then you're not activating things, you know, uh, willy nilly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now we got turned on the. Uh... You turned on the stopwatch. It looks like. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's cycling through here. So okay, there we go. And there's the time. Oh, day it is. And uh, yeah, that is a, that is a bright. Uh, yeah, it can be very. I will tell you, it can be insanely bright. Or, but you can turn down the brightness and and. and I mean, stuff. that's really nice. I mean, we got studio lights on in here, and then to see that it's actually that bright uh, with the studio lights on. I mean, that's that's a hefty. Yeah, that's definitely a hefty. Yeah, you're hefty. definitely going to be able to see. Um, but it will also. I mean, again, I don't. I don't know when we're ready to move into the app section of it. Well, I think we should do that now. So, so the app that you have, it's downloaded from the app store. Yeah, yeah, it's a free. It's Life Clock One has a nice, pretty picture of Kurt Russell on it. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna use Grant's phone here because is uh, it, it's just easier that way. Okay, so we've got uh, this one here, and so the Life Clock One, we can see it's got uh, Snake Plissken's uh, beautiful mug right there. Yep, and it is. It connects. You gotta wonder if Kurt Russell like signed off on all of this. Um, as I understand it, Kurt is aware of it. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious because right. he wanted. Because I, the only thing I did say to the the team is, where's the Kurt Russell signature edition? Ah, yeah. And, but there were there was money issues. I oh, mean, sure. It's, it's it's always obviously getting the the actor to sign off. Abs and absolutely. Everything. So okay. that was so this is the main screen of the uh, of the. No, actor. that's no, that's, that's not the main not, screen. Not yet, but we're getting oh, dashboard. Okay. 
Dashboard. Okay, hold on. Where it says dashboard. Scroll down. Oh, there it is. There. It is. Oh, okay. So that's the. Oh, that's and that will screen. change pictures. So, like okay. right now, when he is connected, you see the the lovely snake Pliskin grin. But if let's say we turned off the Bluetooth, okay, it will go to the red sequence when he's in the Gulf Fire. Oh. Okay. So it will physically give you an interface change. Nice. So that you know, if I think there's a disconnect button here. In fact, yeah, um, you can actually just yeah, simply disconnect. Connected. Not connected. Eh, eh, we'll, we'll show but, it later. It's but fine. the thing is, it will physic so that you know. Um, mm -hmm. I have done a firmware update on the watch. It is markedly better than updating the firmware on an Apple Watch. Yes, I'm poking fair. at you, Tim Cook. Fair, um, fair. Okay. I mean, it's fast, it's quick, it's easy. And sure. um, again, the graphical interface lets you know what you've done. And mm -hmm. even on the watch, it will do a cycle and then give you a confirmation. Very, very solid. Um, Excellent. We can see that we got uh, battery power here. Yes. As uh, do not disturb on or off. Three uh, days on yeah. charge. Three days. That's nice. I mean, and that's if you have the Bluetooth on. Uh oh okay. Now, as I understand it, it's markedly longer. Now, the only thing downside is if you disconnect from the smartphone, mm -hmm. that's how it's calibrating its time. Oh, so okay. there is a little bit of drift. There will be some time drift. Sure. I have noticed that. When you when you when you do stuff like you know so that is something to kind of keep in mind if you are actually using it as a timepiece. So here I'm uh, I'm adjusting the uh, brightness on the display here, and we can kind of see as it's getting uh, yeah, as it's as getting it brighter. Up. Now it also has an auto brightness, yeah. which uh, did, I assume uh, detects how bright it is. Yeah, I yeah, you know it was one of those things I set it and I forget it, which is nice. I mean, right. you feel that comfortable with the app where you can sure. just set it. So if the lights were dimmer in the in the room, it would definitely yeah. be uh, a yeah. Little less. Um, also, right now it's it's exactly the way Snake had it. It's the push to engage. Right. Um, but you can actually set it for intervals where the time will come up. Oh, okay. Okay. Now the only thing I wish he would toggle because I had it. I actually took it to um, to a concert. Is it'll go? Um, There's the disconnect. Yeah, there screen we go. There. Right there. So sorry, right. but yeah, um, you took it to a concert. Yes, and it, you could set it for like every five minutes, ten minutes or so. Often it goes off. Well, it vibrates your wrist ah. to let you know that the that that it. Sure. Well, sometimes you don't necessarily. But they have a whole. There's a notification section. I'm sure that's going to be part of a software upgrade at some point. Yeah, we're just going to kind of show like all the options here. Now, that's the other thing. This is a Bluetooth connected app run version of it. It's not yes. just a clock. It does a lot of things. And look at all. I mean, this is a well. First off, well designed app. I will say. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fairly straightforward. You don't have to worry about a lot of. But these. they're clunky. I mean, I've got a bank app that drives me crazy because the bank right. in you're like, this is how I get my money, and it is the most asinine uh, way of getting through it. Right. Now this one here, I mean, it's really straightforward. Everything seems to work really nice. We've got a pedometer. Yeah, it will here. count your steps. There is a compass on the watch um, that you can access. You can actually do the watch independent of the app, but I have to be honest, I don't recommend it just because it's button combinations. Oh, okay. Um, one thing that I will show off, mm -hmm. which um, I sure. make sure I know. Um, okay, yeah. So we are... Okay. Let's turn around. So if it, yeah, there we go. Sure. When you buy your watch, and if you look on the About section of the app, which um, yep, down here the you will notice that one thing when you purchase it, it will... He... Then the Life Clock One team will ask your name. And it's very important that you get that spelled correctly. <laughs> because on the app, if you notice, my name is there. Yes, I see. It says owner. Grant Sussman, but the thing you the can bottom. do... About... Now okay. watch. It should... <laughs> Okay, I forgot my button combinations. But this is, again, why I say the app is a little bit nicer. Sure, sure. But I assume it's going to uh, show, show the, the beauty that is your name in the software. There we okay, go. Okay, Live Clock 1. There we go. Belongs to Grant. The point is, it's your watch. Suspect. At that point, it is yours. Well, it has a serial number in there, yes. too. Yes. So, you know, there yeah. it is. Well, and there's, there's my there. serial number. In there. But, the, right. but the thing is, is... um. I think that's kind of also really cool that you know it's it's it is your prop by definition, um, which is which is really nice. So if this does get lifted and that can't be changed, yeah, no. So no, that is that is in, no, in that cannot be changed. Integrated so, again, it's the factory. little touches that I I mean you don't think about it as a whole, sure. But then when you when you come together with it, it's like wow, yeah. You know, so he's really him and the crew have really just gone out of their way to make sure that what you unbox. 
you know, word choice that you included. Now, for those of you who uh, read slower, we actually have scroll speed, so you can actually yes. say he's got it set to about mid speed that we saw kind of scrolling across there. We as well actually... as different types of reveals. Oh, that's I have the standard scroll because that's sure. pretty much what I do. But it comes with also time and date, alarm, uh, permissions, notifications. It's also got software update built into the app, which I think is very useful. Um, and then support. We've got uh, FAQ, and they've got to contact us, which takes you right to Lifecock One's website. There we go with their interesting contact page, um, and it says usually within 24 hours. Have you find that that's actually pretty? It's accurate? actually shorter. But okay. now, granted, given if the watch takes off, sure, that time could shrink. So sure. With in all fairness to the crew, you know, obviously, you're, you and know. you feel that when you contact support, that you're actually getting get a hold answers. of, no. but you're getting hold of somebody who knows the product, and oh. you're not not some third yeah. party. Yeah. Oops. yeah. Okay. So that's and that is also really important, especially when you're talking to something that yeah. is. Personal you're not talking to a generic tech support who's reading a script you're that's, talking to a person excellent. who's very much involved in the project very much caring about the about the longevity of the project so. and then not only do you get that you get the person who cares about you as the person who bought the product right. which right. i think is also very nice yeah so you don't have any world clocks set up here i did but i was practicing the reset because i didn't know if we were going to be doing uh, <laughs> now we're insisting on a reset so i i because I, I did want to see the reset now i will say that we had um I think it was on here, the main, the dashboard. Now, on the reset. dashboard, there is an ability to reset the device and reset the software. Right. And so I thought, oh, well, let's, we could do that. So, um, but as far as connecting goes, I mean, you said it's just as simple as connecting you like connect a Bluetooth. You connect up a Bluetooth speaker. If you've connected up anything Bluetooth, you, you, you're either going to go, it's either going to go right off the bat with the app. If it does not, you go to the settings, your Bluetooth, as you would normally do anything mm -hmm. else. You'll see the Life Clock one with your serial number. Nice. Tap it. You're going to get a pair. And it's, all that information is here. Remove the protective yeah. face, locate and remove charging cable. Okay. So it says connect, uh, charge. Now, it does not say how to connect it, but I assume that... If you've connected up a Bluetooth, Bluetooth device, you you're, you're going to know how to do right. it. You know? And now, now, can you use this without a smartphone? Yes, again, you can, but it's button combinations that will drive you crazy. Okay. You know, the basic watch watch functions are right off the top, but, you know, in terms of if you were going to go to your about, as you can see, some sure. of the button combinations doing some of that stuff becomes a little tenuous. Well, because um, I know some of the older fans of the movie right. aren't necessarily smartphone owners. Right. You know, is this something that they yeah. would get in? Well, but as a ba again, as a basic watch, they would sure. be fine. It's just more, you know... But it's also a monster of a watch. So <laughs> as, as far as like yeah. a, like a, yeah. a, a typical watch, it's not yeah, no, it's terribly not, typical. Yeah, no, it's really not. But. So, um, well, do you want to walk... You wanna put it on, Grant. I want to uh, see if we can uh, kind of walk through uh, some of the things here that you think are special well the neat the, the, the fun part is is again i mean if you want to just simply actually we don't even need me to have to wear oh, it but if excellent. you wanted to text me you know just go sure. over to your handy dandy imac or anything and you can i message yeah, me look at this. We're just gonna... and and it and it and it's kind of fun to watch it uh just kind of do do its thing uh when it texts now do you uh, want me to text you or you want me to you can do phone call or you can do text so i mean okay. in, in it will do both so it's kind of, I mean, that one's kind of got a secret agent feel. Um, I was reminded of the... Incoming message. Yeah, see, now it'll say, it gives you your notification. And then, I think I just blew it. See, again, button combinations. Yeah. But, um, call the phone. Call, call, the, call the watch. Or call the, call the phone. Call the phone? Okay. Call the phone. All right, we're 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 calling. There, there we go. Because the texting oh, is nice. part of uh, is is part of notifications and such. So you know, and then there we go. And you have a missed call from. It was upside down, so you sure. know you, you don't. Yeah, there you go. But it, it that was, is me. It's neat though. I mean, it, it's kind of cool just to have that moment, and it does vibrate um, on the wrist, so it will let you know. But the thing is, is if you don't. I don't know if it's a timing setting, and that could be on me in Any terms of message. being able to um, get the notifications and such. Now, is it not giving you the text messages over there because it's showing up here? No, that's... Oh. Um, okay, so here it is. So you've got both ways. Um, so, you know, also, I think, cause, yeah, and you may have a point, it's just, I, I again, I've used it in the field a sure. small handful of times, not okay. really a ton. 
Uh, rock concerts, it's fun because it's big, it's brooding, and you have all the sure. rock, the typical rock fans, <laughs> et cetera. But, um, but no, I mean, that, that actually looks, I mean, it comes across pretty clear. Now, I assume the... Uh, and again, scroll speed and reveal style are yours. You can, okay. I mean, it goes that customizable. Nice. I just keep things pretty straightforward so that if I have to reset the watch or if there was a problem, and again, lack of use, right. um, you can get it back to where you want it effectively. Now, as a person who wears this or, and owns it, you you would say this is not a, a daily... No. Uh, we're, we're wearing this thing. Well, that's also given the nature of my job. It's not like I work in an office building or anything sure. like that. I work under counters and I have to do other things. So okay. I don't want to go, and then, you know, yeah, okay. Well, that's me. So, I'm, I'm yeah. super abusive to my wrists. Yeah, so something so, like this would be decorative. Yeah, I mean, only. it's kind of why the bands, because it keeps things, you know protected but, sure you know, but no it will it will do twitter notifications there's all actually if you look in the notifications section of the app okay um they have just a whole host oh, wow. i mean so we have which, uh, which camera but well yeah, we can look at both of them but we have a whole host of things that you can set up and it will do i swayed away from them just because okay someone does a monstrous tweet do I really want to sit here with my wrist up <laughs> on this heavy dice and do the? But you know, people may, and that's fine. But I think the fact that they thought about that was, you know, it makes it awesome. It makes it unique. How does it um, handle emojis? I'm just curious. I don't know. Well, let us find out. <laughs> I, I hate to say it. I don't know. Well, let's uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to do a uh, straightforward. Uh, I'm going to do two versions of it. I'm going to do that one there. I want to see you do the Spock one. The Spock do, one. Do the Spock one and okay. see what it, no, I don't think it'll do. Yeah, but. Um, let's see. Um, well, let's, uh, I'm just going to go with a you just go with straightforward smile uh, smiley yeah, faces just here. Do a smile or and, something. Uh, or see up, what uh, happens. Good. All right, we're going to do straight up smiley. Okay, so I did two. I did uh, one via a uh, text and then one. Incoming there. message. There we go. Okay. Now see now what's going on there. I know, I know. I think I think it's because we're we're, we're dinking we've got around the phone, with it. We've got the phone on. Okay, so let's try to we'll try it again here. We'll do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock the phone that way. Okay, there we go. All right, I'll send you again. Incoming message. Hmm. I wonder if it is because it's, it's an emoji. emoji. Yeah. So let's try this, okay. Um, well, I know it's, he's got a whole thing on, like, special characters on the site, so it, you may very well have a point, but I know, like, just regular text, I've gotten... Incoming message. You know, Here's regular. another one, some mix. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think that's what I named one. And, but again, if you ask him a question, he'll detail it, and he'll certainly Incoming put it in, in, in the notes. And so. then this one was just text. So I wonder if now I've just overloaded your. Yeah, I think you, yeah, it's pre it's probably just said, "Hey, I, I give up. I'm done." Excellent. But, well, but, I mean, it's not a downside. I mean, it's again, you're, it's a side scroller. It's a simple right uh, LED display. It's not like you're looking at uh, this. This is. I mean, you can kind of see it here if you angle it right. We're not looking at this. Is not an LCD screen. No, that, these are LEDs that right. are fashioned to look like an old school. Right. He's, and a, he's got all the write up. Anybody that really wants to get technical with this. He actually does a full write up on it, right? And I've I've read it, and it's it's pretty it's pretty extensive, which is nice. But I just wanted you know to sh to show people this is not uh, it, it's not like we're we're foeing up this L no. LED, and I think here. that's what makes it special. I yes. mean, really, it just the it's workmanship and the quality yeah. here with like you said with the old school retro feel of you know what Kurt Russell stole off the wrestler. I mean, Absolutely. that's you know you're just. Yeah. I now, mean, what's what's cool is if you look underneath the screen here. I mean, we've got it's got a protective glass, and this is glass. This is not plastic. It's a crystal. I don't remember. He again. He has all the it technical is, right, and it's I scratch can't. resistant. I read, yeah. I read it up on it, man. It's scratch resistant uh, nice. cut crystal, which is really nice. Right. Now, if you look underneath, and we can kind of show it here, that's actually the connectors that you're looking at there. These, it's you've got a window into the mechanics of the piece, which I think is a is beautiful. Because not only are you getting like the LED or uh, display here that you, you get, but once this turns off, you've got a beautiful and elegant piece here that you're actually looking at so you can see the workings of it. And I think that, to me, is, is just as sexy as being able to uh, get all of the information that comes across the screen here. So as I'm looking at it, I mean, I can see all of the, all of the connector, connectors are in, on there. And like back when I was younger, back in my ute, um, 
we had these clocks. I mean, these were just the standard clocks that you right. would have there. But you also have the heavy brass casing that says, okay, right. I can see all these things, but it's not going to fall apart. No, it's not. That's what I think is also, like you said, it, it harkens back, but Absolutely. you have enough solidity and stability to the watch. Yeah, this thing ain't going anywhere. Yeah, you don't have any doubt in your mind that it's not going to. But this feels, this feels retro. I mean, this feels like something like I would write the word boobies on it. You know, we, they, we, it know. And, uh, we know. We <laughs> know. To, to show it off to my friends, um, but uh, no, I mean I, I like that exactly. I like that old that old timey feel to it, old timey back in the eighties. Yes. Um, but it is. I mean, it's a gorgeous. It's a gorgeous piece, and I gotta say, like, it's still got the mill lines. It's still right. got. Uh, I mean, it's it's well well made. This thing is, and it looked. You know, he antiqued the brass a little bit, which I think is is nice. And well, actually, I antiqued it. Oh, did you? Well, that's by just kind of what happens by wearing it. Because okay, so, so when it I got it, bright. it was very bright. Okay. I mean, it, or I should say relatively bright. But it, it, I do know that now that it's out in the open and out in the air and stuff. So it's but, oxidizing on its own, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. Well, that's actually nice. I mean, because sometimes what, um, like with some of the products that I'll do, if I do Because I asked him about weathering. Okay. I, I mean, before no. I got it, he says, he says, no, we don't do that. He says, because it will oxidize it will on its own. And then you have that New York feel. Well, some so. people will... And I and I've been known to do it. I'll spray like a clear coat on it so that right. it doesn't oxidize. Right. So it's nice to see that he actually did yeah. because I find like as you can see here, especially with the rivets on, and on the backside, especially they're starting to darken, which is uh, which is nice. It's a it's a sign of it actually being used. Right. But um, if this had that coating on it, it wouldn't look nearly as nice in age. And I like that the coloring here matches more the more it oxidizes more it's gonna start matching the leather band right. and it's not gonna stand out because if you're trying to escape from new york you don't want this bright blingy thing well that that was also kind of the thing you know, yeah you want to be able to actually uh kind of blend in with us now i will say if i was running through new york this thing would hurt my arm after a while i mean it's, it's, just, it's just a touch heavy honestly it, it really the only thing that i found is just due to the width mm -hmm. you don't have as much flexibility you know sure sizing i will say is very important do right. not you know, skin. Well, I know I, I, sure I know I went and put it on, and I noticed I'm I'm short here on the yeah. I've got see, a whereas lot of I mean, I can put it on my wrist if you want, and that, that sure. we can see exactly the, the correct you know, fitting here. You know, it, it. Now you said this for right-handed or left-handed people. It, you have to request it because I noticed you, yeah, you you're lefty to, as well as I am. Yes. So, so I mean, you have to request it, and I admit I'm kind of one of those retentive people that well, wants my Velcro strap on just right. <laughs> but if you notice, okay. You know, rolling your wrist, you're running right into those shirts. Sure. But it's the size. I mean, that's the way it was designed. I, he's not no, going to be able to get yeah, around. I'm doing that with my watch. I mean, yeah, yeah but you have a little bit more. I mean, seriously, look I got at, look a at little your, bit. More. You're going to have more yeah. extension when you feel the the crimp in the band. See, it's it's not it's not just coming back here, but you feel a little bit of tightness in the band. So it's going to have that. I mean, that just that's the nature of the design. But if I'm fighting a convict and someone's coming at me with a blade, at least I can deflect. Oh, Whereas I can hit him with this thing. thing. I'll tell you right now. You know, yeah, you're you you. You blindsided somebody with this, yeah. No you're, you're definitely gonna, you're gonna definitely gonna do some damage. But um, the thing is, is you know, obviously when you know when it was designed, what I love is he also, if for those people that enjoy the film, he has a history of the prop. Yes. And there are parts I'm not gonna say because I don't want to ruin it for everybody. But I, I, the one thing I will say is I love the fact that the original watch was an oven timer. Yes. Well, and that's what I was getting back to. Is like yeah. these L -L -E LEDs inside here are those from when I was younger, and so that's and that is what we would see. And I, I loved watching the patterns on these go through, and that's yeah, harkening back to it. I, now I will the ones from the movie, which I a lot of people, a lot of people who purchase props from me, I get a lot of uh, fans of products. They're like, hey, I'd like to get this crystal or this whatever. Right. Can you give it to me? And the specs that you have to go after for a fan is astronomically more than what you would get if you were in the props room on the show. Well, yeah. I mean, like, also, and we discussed this previous, mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of being a broken record to you, but I don't care. Um, this one is very much like the Men in Black Master Replicas piece sure. in that when the movie was done, they did three separate props for each one of the functions that mm -hmm. they needed to, to have. So when Tommy Lee Jones is zapping the immigrants at the very beginning... And the, and the sheriffs, no, that's actually, there's a wire that got taken out and posted, and it's just right. a generic silver capsule. Okay, well, but when Master Replicas did it, technology had changed. They were able to shrink things down. So you get all the LEDs. Everything works. It strobes. You put in a little battery. It will open and close. Same story with this. There were actually, I believe it's two or three. There's three different versions. Yeah. 
And I mean... One was... Two of them were foam. Yeah, two were foam. And then one had a wire, and it, Kurt would actually hold it, and the wire was up his sleeve, which was so funny because he just had a sleeveless shirt on. I found that that description interesting. But um, And someone else powered the watch off and on because it didn't even have buttons. Nope. No buttons. So when you see him in the Gulf Fire doing the first test, there's nothing there, kids. Right. So but to make it to make it functional, which is why he went with the slim line, right? Apple, Apple uh, buttons, buttons on yeah. the side here, because you don't want to ruin that. I mean, you've got to make the, it functional. You don't have to make it functional. No, he could have had it so that it wasn't. But why buy that? No, Is there's no reason you're going to use every no. day. But no. again, you walk into a convention, sure. you're going to be the bell of the ball. There's no debate about it. You will be the bell of the ball. You have a piece that is going to stand out. It's going to look good. Now, I'm going to say, know? like, there's there's those people you're going to walk in and you're going to be, be wearing this and you're going to have that Snake Plissken look to you. But there's also going to be the people who don't know who the hell that is. Right. But this has a very nice steampunk feel to it as well. Well, that too. Yeah. So, I mean, it's really nice. Yeah. I mean, so it's, it can be, I mean, as long as you don't turn, oh, you could even turn it on. But I mean, if, well, you, if you let it just do its thing for every five, ten minutes, sure. keep, it's going to attract attention. There's no Absolutely. way around it. It doesn't matter. I mean, even. I've gone to a couple of dress functions and I've worn the watch just because, well, I can. Right. And um, it's fun. I mean, especially if you have people in our age bracket because of the, oh, yeah, I remember that, you know, and they, and they go retro on you and they're like, yeah, I remember, I, I remember that movie. So it's kind of, you know, fun. If you, It's a great conversation piece, but, you know, it's it, it, you're not going to take it everywhere. No. You're going to take no. it at least in that place. So, I mean, so to wrap it up, I mean, I mean, it's definitely a worthwhile piece. I mean, you said the price point was $400? Yes. 400 for the Snake, and I think it's 599 for the Gulf Fire. Right. That is on the site. That is subject I we would yes, want to It is lifeclock.com. So check double check your prices, but I would say for the price I for think $400. you can't beat it if you no. if you enjoy the film, if you if you want something that is a conversation piece um, and you've never owned I mean a, a friend of mine got the Gulf Fire edition. He he loves my props, but he 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 never had made a conscious buy of anything. Sure. He bought this. He's using it in marathons. Oh. But he did get the Gulf Fire Holy edition. cow, he that's going to be heavy. <laughs> yeah, it was like 65-mile marathon. Wow. And he and he took it, and he's actually got pictures he posted on the Life Clock One page. Nice. Uh, loves it to death, but it, but it was... It was the one time when it, it com combined his love of athletics for and a, and, one, and a desire for a smartwatch with his enjoyment of the film. So he sure. went off and did it. But it's I feel for the money and what I have spent on props, okay, because, yes, I own a Temenosuke Blaster Pro, which is a right. $1,000 Blade Runner prop. Yes, Adam Savage called it the gold standard of the Blade Runner well, pistol. Yes. But... It is a thousand dollars. So for a, so a, you're getting you're walking away, yeah, right. right. That's okay, right. but, but you're for walking. This, yeah, yeah. This is actually a what I would consider a master right. prop replica, right? That serves more function than just being a prop replica. And all the pieces come together to make it not only a prop replica but something you can use. It's which, a usable prop, yes, which is nice. Yes. And it's a, it's a prop that's going to hold up. Oh yeah. So yeah. the only thing that I would say I uh, this thing is missing is a. Uh, I would I would feel bad leaving it in here all the time. Yes, you would. I would I would definitely. Make and I would display. tell you more about this topic, but I can't. Oh well, because is it Mr. Zuffi okay. uh, does feel that the one thing it is lacking is a proper display case. Yes, I agree. But I'm not at liberty to speak <laughs> about that publicly, so I'm just going to say that, like everything else, it is a work in progress sure. and it is coming soon. But suffice to say that no, a display case hasn't been forgotten about. But for the price point, right, um, as well as time, because he only has so, has so much time on the license, and he wanted to at least get the desire up there sure. and get the sales through, then it would be something that okay, you really want to put this up in your house. Here's what you can do. Yeah, if only so, you knew somebody who did things like I, that. You know, I have no clue. You know, sometimes I just get lost that way. Right. But uh, yeah. no, this would definitely be something somebody would come to me and say, "I'd like to have a display for this." Right. And I would be like, "Absolutely." And let's put it this way: what has been thought up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's a good concept. It's a beautiful concept, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, because of costs and because of his planning and the nature of what he's doing and 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 literally the work he's put in, it's gonna be chapter two, and it has to be. There's, there's no nothing way. wrong with that. He's got to, you know. Obviously, you gotta you gotta get the desire up there. But I think fifty percent funding on a global Kickstarter was still a hell of an achievement. Sure. Um, and the only thing I, I'm looking forward to is because it did make CNET and everything else, which again is all on Life Clock One, that all those reporters do a follow up and say, "Hey, it's out. Right? You want this? 
Go well, ahead. I mean, that's why that's half the reason yeah. we're doing this video here. It Amen. helps spread the yes. word of this yes. beautiful, this this beautiful, beautiful piece, piece here. Yeah. Now, I will say, until that time, this is a nice box. Yes. I mean, and it's and it's worth not throwing away. Yes. So so hang on to the sign. So, I mean, I will say that, you know, it's going to sit in here. And while it's not the best display, I mean, it's still a nice enough box that we that you it's could. It's a good presentation box. Ex exactly. It, it is a good presentation box. If until this sits on your shelf. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then somebody's like, "What's in that beautiful box?" I mean, because you got the show, the show art on it, and you can open it up and say, "I have this beautiful piece." But this does need to be displayed right. proudly. Yes. So uh, I'm glad that that is something that is. Normal. Yeah, it is. It is, and I and I look forward to it. I get, I told him, I said, you know, you you finish that project, and yeah, there, that, that sure. I, would, I would be more than happy to spend the money and buy it. <laughs> but then again, you know, that's me. Um, you know, I'm I'm chasing down a ninety dollar bottle of whiskey. So that's that's right. So that and that is the life of a prop collector. Isn't it though? So. Isn't it though? All right. So uh, again, that's at lifeclock one all one com. word. Yeah, lifeclock one dot com. Um, go there, get it. That you can order them now. You could. They are available for purchase now, and um, there is a lifeclock one purchase um, page on Facebook as well. He has a Twitter feed, but I mean, honestly, the page as well as the web page are the really the two places if you don't have one to go and get all your information to follow up and everything but love it to death think it's a great piece and hope that any, anyone buying it enjoys it as much as i do so excellent all right well thanks again Not grant for joining me i appreciate it always and uh until next time i'm paul pape of paul pape designs at tinkervice studios and this has been another unboxing video thank you